Although membership in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has grown to over 16 million worldwide, there are still so many misconceptions out there. Watch as we ask missionaries from the Seattle, Washington Mission some of these strange, funny, and downright awkward questions. I'm Elder Villatoro. Yeah, Elder Henderson. Sister Wilkerson. I'm Sister Levitt. I'm Elder Barker. I'm Sister Stevens. My name's Elder Brown. I'm Sister Coloque. My name is Elder Fano. Is it true that you've really never tried alcohol, smoking, or coffee? Yes. <laughs> okay, so coffee, but let me explain, okay? I know there's alcohol and hand sanitizer, and so one time I put it on my hand, and then lit it on fire, it really hurt. And then my brother was telling me, um, you can't drink that. I was like, okay. What the word of wisdom is, is it's like a health code. I was like seven, so I didn't know. <laughs> is Mormonism a cult? Depends if you live in Canada or not. I just read that on the internet, you know. Oh. They're a cult, so. It must be true. By definition, low key, but so is the army, so. Where are your horns and tail? I'm not an animal. <laughs> I'm a little confused now too. I don't know where I left those. <laughs> I actually don't have that. I'm just a normal person. Well, you know, I left them at home, so I don't have them on me. So you guys dig up dead people and baptize them? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds terrifying, no. We don't do that. No, actually. Um, I used to think that when I was a little kid, whenever I heard it's called baptisms for the dead. Simply is a baptism as a proxy for somebody. You guys can't use mirrors? Oh no, we use mirrors. Wouldn't look good if we didn't use mirrors, trust me. I mean, would I look this good if I didn't? I use a mirror in the morning. I always check myself out. Especially after I get a workout, you're looking swole. Uh, a lot of these things don't dance, is that right? <laughs> we dance. I love to dance. I actually love dancing. I can dance. Hey! <laughs> Awkward dances like this. And then you do a whole bunch of spins with like, I don't know, yeah. And then you toss it up and then you wait, and then you look at the time and then you whoa, you know. So with the dice roll a little bit here, dice roll a little bit. So, isn't this the religion that has like five wives? Um, no, maybe at one point in time, but we don't practice polygamy. That was illegal, so it's bad. No, <laughs> it is not. No, we just have one wife. Why do you put holes in your underwear? Um, do we do that? I don't know. You lost me at that one. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Well, I mean, you kind of need holes to put your, put your legs through, so, I mean, yeah. Why do so many Mormons get married in Disney World? I don't know. And what's better than, you know, getting married and then going right to the Dumbo Ride, the crown of the park? Right. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing they're referring to temples. Uh, they do look like Disney. As members, we get married in the temple because we believe that we can be sealed for eternity and forever. Why do you live in Seattle? I thought all Mormons live in Utah. So I am from Utah, but I'm here to help people and meet people and just spread love and positivity to the people in Washington. Actually, most Mormons or members of the church don't live in Utah. Most of our members live outside of the United States. What is it with the, the Mormon's magic underwear? <laughs> Although it seems magical, it's, it is more of just like a blessing, power from God. They feel magical, I'll tell you right now. They're kind of like compression shorts, like they feel like, feel like they move with you. Something that we wear to remind us of like promises we've made with God. Jews wear a cap on their head. It's basically the same thing. They're called temple garments. They're uh, very sacred and uh, we wear them. It's not magic, it's just really cool. Uh, I've heard that the Mormon church is rich. Is that true? I'm not really sure. If, if they are, that would be great. Maybe. People pay their tithing, but it doesn't pay the bishops or anybody holding an office. That's all voluntary. And we just have millions of dollars in like humanitarian efforts and stuff like that. What's, what's cool is we put money out into the world, which we have, but we, like, there's no paid ministry. I consider us rich in blessings. But you guys don't celebrate Christmas though, right? We do celebrate Christmas. Christmas is good. 
It's about Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's born, and we're happy that He's born, so that we can all live now today, and we can all return back to our Heavenly Father. We do. Love Christmas. Christmas is also my birthday, so it's a double holiday. <laughs> Since you're Mormon, that must mean that you like Jello and casserole. Casserole, yeah. I do love me some tuna casserole. Yeah, that's exactly what it means. That's like one of the baptism requirements, yeah. I actually hate Jello so much. I hate Jello, I hate bananas, mashed potatoes. I actually don't like Jello. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm actually vegan, so not really. Are you gonna marry your cousin? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know if I can find anyone to marry. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't have any cousins my age. So, closes the door for that one. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's weird. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant because I'm Polynesian. No, no, definitely not. No, I, I do not want to marry someone that I've seen at a family reunion. <laughs> no. I don't even know all my cousins that well, but I don't know. No, that's... How does it feel to be an oppressed Latter-day Saint woman? I am not oppressed. Oppressed how? Oh, well, that is so sad. That is not true. I'm not oppressed. Just a Latter-day Saint woman. I mean, I've never felt oppressed. I didn't know I was oppressed, but... I like being a Latter-day Saint. <laughs> uh, I understand you guys believe that dark skin is a sign of God's curse, while white skin is a sign of God's blessings. Um... Pause, what? Oh, no way! Well, if that was the case, I don't know, I guess I'd be cursed. Consider myself blessed with my brown skin, so I mean... All are equal in the sight of God. He was all of his children equally. All skin colors, all races, religions, everything. Well, I mean, you could say white skin is a curse because uh, I get sunburned really easily. So, you tell me. You don't read the Bible, right? Because Mormons have their own Bible? Um, we do read the Bible, but our own Bible that you said would be called the Book of Mormon. And we read both of them, and we believe they go hand in hand, and they're both the Word of God. It's actually called the Book of Mormon, Another Testament of Jesus Christ. It's a really cool book. Um, obviously, Bible covered in Jerusalem. All, all back there, and then Book of Mormon covers America. Are Mormons Christians? Yes, absolutely. We believe uh, in the same Jesus Christ that was crucified, the same one that was born in Bethlehem. Um, we're 100% Christian. Yes, most definitely. If you look on our name tags, we are here representing our Savior, Jesus Christ. But just one correction, it's not Mormon. It's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Find more answers at comeuntochrist.org. You can also request a visit from missionaries where you can ask them anything. Go ahead, give it a try. Hi, I'm Sister Ali. Do I say my first name? <laughs> my name is Emma. Whoa, I almost said my first name. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nat. Oh, can we restart? <laughs> My name is Tots. Oh, awkward. Looper. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Dice roll a little bit here. I'll stop. I'm in the Lord's hand. Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's a wrap.